Thompson is usually the tempo creator. He's going to win his lane, and he's always going to rotate first. In the top, Anna and Nortel, they've been dual laning together for absolutely ever, but EG, they bring three. If the first two doesn't succeed, you bring everybody. Pushing Anna back under the tower with the metamorphosis damage. He's actually going to have enough. Anna has lost one lane. It's very unusual that you see a train not still living. Oh, uh, fly. He's back again. He may have survived the period, but can he survive everything else? Jirak will arrive. It's a good stroke. He did a stun. Now Crit's caught on the wrong side. That was uh, that was not the right target. And now Seb's kind of trapped behind the tree line. Crit's wondering if he can get some help. But Seb, now he's going to find him. Starts with a totem, follows up with a Fidja. Echo slams just for good measure. And Crit thanks to a lot of it. Raindrops help out with that, but they'll still take the kill. And actually, well, fly. That was maybe a little short-lived. OG have come back. By me indeed. Moving across the map, are actually not true. Our might have been part of a push in one of the sides, on one of the other lanes. It's five time. It's blink reveal over on the ESP. Ready? Fly a friend just evaporate. S4 is also on the run. Seth, he's got Fissure up. S4, you're staying with your feet wet. No way to get away from the spray. And, and he's locked inside though. the pit with the double stop from Smell. Maybe a little extra space. S4. Then they move in towards the mid lane, rolling all the ones again. Overwatch Thompson, G-Rex is nearby. Gonna put down the ink swell for Thompson. The damage may just be more than enough to kill. He turns for an EMP tornado, but in death he'll burn mana, but that's... The Earth Spirit's done, it's only level two. It's it's enough for some oh. to... s fall done. Here's your combination. Seth will get the first turn off, and maybe not the greatest of chaining against this s fall Enchantress to try to find the damage. Nurta has to go off the Earth Put the quick silence down, but some L's already arrived from the long... Smell's already moving down. Coming past his own shrine, TP supports on the way. So ES starts stop. Jirax gonna land out a stun over on the ES, but DA can't really do much. It's a fail! The psych is coming from downtown! The hexer help, EMP on air, pops him, actually catching in the back of fly. He roots up mana, then lets it go. Or when you escape or is there, of course there is. It's the Phantom Assassin. Wants him in the trees. He's gonna move up. And now, well, a EMP tornado. It's a mail. They wanna send him trying. A Yule Scepter. Defensive. Nothing is burnt. And now they all turn around for the fight. And it's moving forward. Just all by S4 as well as RTG together with a double silence. Letting it go. Like, he's doing the work. They're gonna play Anna. Go, Anna. Stand in this fight. The rest of OG will wanna get the hell out of here. Sentry comes right up towards RTZ. Topson finds his own target. It's S4. Send him up. The missed timing though. Send your Dimper instantly starts it. Send what he picked up with the Soul Fight. Look at the stun. Anna's looking for his own form of damage. S4. The Anna can't attack him first. The full more attack will do it. Anna's able to get down and then jump over for a double kill into play. Rolling ball to Rick. Oh, the Soul Fight.
Okay. S4, here comes your level 2 fire blast out. While up on top, Bunty's just get away, but Snowtail stunned up into the tree line. They have the damage and they have the vision. And Anna actually being given the life from Nortel. That's all he could do. Oh, uh, there's actually no mana on the tiny. Chirax has to stun him. Fissure. And this will be matter on the Tunny now. Gets three bottle rune charges up. So Fly, they start with the avalanche. Seb's moved over as well. Fly, he can get one punch in. He ain't no one punch in. Still tosses off cooldown. Crit leaps up a little bit further out. Now goes for a short range arrow. He doesn't have another leap available. Thompson has both avalanche and Thompson, uh, toss available. Tops. Yeah. Tops him and he's dead. Tossin. Nicely done, Tossin. Thanks, Tossin. Uh-oh, Artiz is in trouble too. Yeah, he's dead. dead. Girax, Girax able to get the double stun. Fly couldn't do anything to help him out. The stomp was already used. Now Fly is moving into the tree lines. He'll go for another stomp, but Girax just waited out perfectly. This is that crisp kind of play you're expecting to come free, but you'll lose the enchantments while all that's going on. Chris able to get him, while OG are looking the other way. Seb got greedy. And Dolphur and... Oh, top of found him. Finally, they found it. Drop the nukes, drop the hammer. That's easy. Top lane, Seb's in real trouble in the middle of the cooldown. The attendants will not help him. The homing missile from Samel will wipe that smile off his face while fly under the tier 2 tower. Girax and Thompson once again comboing together. They're the Smash Brothers right now. S4 as well as Arteezy. The TP out. The stun. Space created. And Girax will also leave. It's ahead of the Enchantress. Here we go again. Off me. Don't tell the elf. The worst thing, can you even blame him? They've like smoked him two or three times and <laughs> they have deep wards. They just keep running him down and now Thompson. This is his sixth trip. kill. He's taken 50% of the kills for OG. Thompson, how fast can this guy be enabled? Phase boots up, move through the trees, another vision block. Jurax, this is why on support yes, he is. Time, the observed ward. Did it see? It sees Samel for a half moment as well as S4. Avalanche is out. The vision from Jurax. Over on two. Call down. It's a great observe ward down. GG, this is coming. A quick leap away from Triple creates space. Over. Now going to go for it. So it's a great vision. Oh, coming in from Durek. Actually trying to stop the arrow. It may be a little bit too late. The call down is great from Smell. Playing from inside the tree with a flag and a damage. Durek has to run up high. Thompson, he'll have the save from Nota. Durek won't be so lucky. Neither will S4. Both dying over on the opposite sides of the lane. And Thompson finally now back up the full health. Just tosses away the gyrocopter. Arteezy. Do you want to go for a solo kill on Arteezy? He's got no damage. <laughs> <laughs> he actually has nothing. Moonlight shed has been burnt, so they can all just walk away. Oh, they're going to walk into top, sir. But the avalanche, and now it's time for a proto. He'll cap free for the pitch up. They're all caught on the other side. So Anna's only got one choice to kill on Chris. And the set actually came in from the side, looking for his own damage. And Jiren tossed into the echo. He'll finish off S4. Set for an angle. The flies are going to find the speed. The homing missile doesn't find the kill. Anna, time for repairs the damage for space. Never hit the deck. Attendance and three points untouchable. And Seth's gonna stick around and uh, attempt to denial. Fly. Oh, I like that from Seth. He waited it out and Fly. He's gonna get punished. Looking for the denial. S4. Gonna go for his own son on the top. But the Fisher is there from Girax. But they can't keep the pressure up just yet. The call down from Samel. Creating more space for the Ogre. Seth willing to run into it. But for how long? And now the toss. Tiny pulling back S4. Arrow flies forward. It hits on the enchantment. But he's protected. And Thompson, he'll actually have the extra life through the fall. Promise. The flag cannon from Samel as much damage as he can. They'll stun him up. And now, maybe with the impetus, they have enough damage. Top oh, he, oh, he just missed the toss back. And the extra stuff for Jira. He'll bring in his blink dagger. He'll get the echo set. Damage they kill. Still can't kill him. Samel, we're about to be split in twine. Pulling back Thompson. Snapping down Seth. They're slow for the moment. Anna, he'll get the chrono. It's over on S4. That's how they began this. Thompson's keeping crit out of this fight. Jira's can't get it close up. Finally, they bring down. Aghanim Scepter, the Maelstrom's coming out in the Courier. A full BKB has now arrived for the Terra Blade. Seb trying to go on to S4. That hand of Minus, well, at least he got it off before he died, but S4 is down once again. Next time. Moonlight Shadow from EG did not arrive in time. And Thompson just Walking wants up. more. Walking up blindly uphill. But Samal will be ready to fight. This Courier still hasn't brought his items to him, but they won't care. Thompson, Avalanche, Tom, Thompson's taking so much damage. Help is there for Nortel. Thompson just needs to get the hell out. 
holding hold of the EF, but you won't care if you've got the kill first, and that's easy. There's a crit, time dilates, the mouth of no trooper speed. Four heroes from EG, top Oh, Terrorblade's getting jumped. That's not what they want to have happen. The arrow fight for it. It does as you can drop. I got some roll. Give me free. Thunder is out. No dust still operating that protection for the timing. The ET stop is out, and there's nothing much you can do. Tiny just has to sleep through this battle, and he'll snap down as the protection is now born. EG, move from one target to the next. Zep can't do much here, but Anna, he can. Chrono is off cooldown. He's beating the crap out of the Orca. That's a lot of crap to get. Oh, oh, oh. Arrow, space created. The stun won't last long enough. Anna, go on Disco with the sparkly shield. And Anna, oh. well, maybe yes to Chrono to actually save it. The Fissure holds him out. The Four Star pushes him away. Jerry's really are trying to hold him. Thompson jumps in for the Avalanche. Don't stop him. Artizi going to go up for the PKB. The call is coming as well. They have to make sure he doesn't get the Sunder on the set. Has the high ground BKB protection. Three men. Minutes in, Crit's gonna show himself, and GRX is instantly gonna jump. If he feels it's real, and he feels it strongly, the fissure, the stun, a quick leap away. Maybe there's a control. Mirana nuke down into the trees once again. Crit trying to use the Anna spot into Moonlight Shadow. He just has to wait it out. The stop is just out of range. Crit once again, he gets visible, only because of the leap away. And now GRX, he gets the slam down at the end. Tier three towers being beat down. Here we go again. Long stun on the arrow. Anna, remember he's got the agency mortal. But it's the low cooldown abilities. Fly getting smacked in the ball. Oh, 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 oh. Thompson! Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho! That tree had thistles! Ah, five back! Has to arrive! The melee rack is gonna fall! Anna's still waiting for the right chronosphere time. Artizi playing on the edge. At least he has to dodge some of the damage. Here's your jump forward. Time oh, I got twice over. And now into the chronosphere. They hold him. They toss him down. And Zemeo. Needs to do some work. Five back to the from Artizi is now or never. The arrow just connects. Thompson still just having to stand there in the middle of the ET splitter. Adam's jumping himself back again. But Artizi, he's here to fight. Thompson, he's there to be saved. They're trying to get up the hill. The stun is actually able to get Thompson out on the hillside. He actually TP's out in front of Artizi on Artizi's home. B, he knows he can just be that attractor. Who wants to come in from EG? The melee barracks doesn't really set a chance. Another sleep. This one's over on Faces Void. Ogre jumping into the back lines. Anna instantly jumps back out to help his teammates. The BKB Ogre. It was a good distraction, but EG, what can they really get out of it? A call down on top of the ramp. Set moves fall, but here comes Anna going on top of Artizi. Where's the opening still? Flies going down. He just cannot take this bark or bite. And now the jump in from... The scenario is slightly different this time around. Still objectives to take. And EG still want to try and fight. Fly jumping in for Monica. Anna once again. Saved. The false promise is there. Notar will sacrifice himself or will even be a sacrifice. Zamal can't get the kills. Thompson, he starts the toss off. And that's GG. We will have a remake of the TI8 semi final two going to a game three. A decider between O. G and E G. What a great game from O G. It looks relatively grim. Looks level play. I mean, Anna has to dig into the mango to spin later, and then, oh, that's a... That's a great grab. That's some Anna, serious damage. Is he gonna spin? He has to lift that thing up, and six, yeah, zero. Trace places with Jurax. And then into Bramble. Artizi just fought S4 to ride with the Avalanche. Trip. Level two in Shadow Realm has more than enough damage to pop. But the best the best player for him to combine with is a Sanky. Bottom lane, bottom lane, yeah. AMP, they just need to change the sun to make one. sure there's no blink away and that's easy. Spell shield won't help you there. Except just moving over. It's like, okay, well, curse crown me. Thompson's ready to fight. Thompson can thankfully set stun me too. S4 able to do it, but Jirak, he gets a double stun of his own. They get the telekinesis grab over on S4, but Jirak, he's focusing on the wrong trip. He's in that cold snap for the control. S4 now comes up as well up the hill, realizes OG, OG, 
through this part of the map with the Infinite. He actually gets the damage. He'll die from the fall. Shirax, not the perfect layer, but it'll still work nonetheless. Samel, Ben, burned out of mana. He's bottle charging up. Seb needs to give the attendance over towards Thompson. Now they can turn their attack over. Fly, he's arrived as well. Looking for that damage. Have they got enough? Samel has the leap distance to get away to safety. And Chris, he wants to turn around. Thompson, again, that curse crown. It's going to get the stun. But Quas, it will not be enough life and sustain to keep Thompson. Or, yep. TV comes in, oh, Avalanche, no quick spin from Anna, the fear will be there and that's going to force the Enchantress to run away, but Anna's in pretty deep, still has only such available, the heavy amount of damage thanks to Demon Edge, and Chris, well, he'll stand there and he'll tank the entire Omni Slash. He tossed a creep instead that got in the way. Seb, you're coming in deep, man. They're under a shrine, he's got a lot more Avalanche, tops up into the arrow, and Thompson's trying to help out with the Cold Snap, pushing Smell away, Enchantress, now going to get the Spice off, no tail still there, the Mountain Boy, that's easy! He's not going to be happy with that one. The arrow from Samel, well off target of Invoga. Cold Snap's coming off cooldown right now. The Curse Crown, all oh, everyone stand together against us. Maybe there's some damage from the Bedlam, but then a fire strike from Jirax picking off Chris. And this game is S. Sand King will get a dagger very soon. Yep, they're going to try that four. No tell, stunned up continuously, but they'll still get the grab, pulling back down again. Fire Strike available, making sure S4 does not get up the hill. Frostbite from Fly can't create enough space. And there's no sentries from EG, Jirax, oh, he'll cop that arrow, still under sentry, somehow can claim that kill nice and quick. And then S4, he'll jump in as well, they're going up the supports and they've got him, somehow with the double kill, turn your attention over one step, will take a long time to attack into him, the EMP burn is also there from Thompson, making life a little bit more difficult for the Dark Willow. Except he wants to battle. They have sentry versus sentry. Somebody get rid of that. Flies moving forward. You can definitely see them. They're sentries. Oh, crit. oh, that's a good combo. Really good jump in. The Bramble. He'll catch out Anna. He's got Omni Slash. He can turn around right now. There's only one creep that's there. They're doing all the spin damage into S4, but he has to burn the ultimates from Anna. He'll crit at the end. I think it's Chris said. EMP Tornado catching him up on the top for Shadow Realm. We'll add some protection. He's got no more mana to work with. We'll get the damage into Nortel. Hung around a little longer. Arrow. It flies forward. A nice long five second stun. Over on the Rubik will now go down and fly. Kick off Thompson. EG. They needed something, and that's something. Seb. Seb. Okay. I'll do this solo. Maybe I won't. Anna's nearby. Anna spins. Now he's going to take the melee ranks. You said EG may have to pay the price. The toss, they find one in deep. Set under the tier four towers. The arrow looking to connect as well, but the Omni Slash has four. He's just totally stranded. Anna will find the kill. Fly trying to let it go. Anna's taking through all of this, however. The sustain. I thought EG are meant to be Captain America, but OG, they can do this all day. And the call snap. There's nothing to follow it up. 14 HP. The sun break. No, you've got no tail. He stole the blink from anti Page. It jumps in. Of course you can do that. Finds the kill. Nice chase up. Over on top to five seconds up. And there's no one from EG who can get close. Jirax comes in with the epicenter. Expecting EG to engage, but they're not there. As OG look for another lane of racks. Pushing through. Crit. He's getting chip damage into top. Where? is still farming him. Then he will not join. Any mage has not finished farming, but S4 is dead for 70 seconds. He's losing his teammates. And what does Artizi want to do? The answer for anti mage keep on farming. What's OG going to do? Keep on pushing. <laughs> Sounds good to me. There's no tiny for 50 seconds. This is... It's... It's over. If they don't have the damage. They can't kill these heroes, I think. Jump in. Look for your target. Marana. Samael. He's leaping the wrong direction, but he had no other choice. He tried to get the Aghanim Snapper out, damage out. But now he doesn't have a way free. Artigi's he's trying to grab the creep wave, but they're all pushed in. The bottom lane's pushed in, which is allowing this pressure from OG up on the top as Fly. Man, Chirac, he doesn't give to him. He's got defensive yours that are available. Triple gets some chip damage into Nortel, but it's great. He has to fight. BKB is up for Artigi. Now's the time, but he's getting picked up. Thrown away. All oh, that farming and was it in the chief. Artigi, well, he'll chief one kill over onto Nortel. He'll blink away. Regeneration is required. Salving up so they can get back to the front lines. They can't lose all these lanes of racks. Tiding is back up again. The TP's coming to the sideline. Here comes S4. Avalanche. Toss. They look towards Thompson. And maybe they got enough damage. That's easy. The virus from Jirak. It'll connect with Bell Shield. It wasn't there to actually protect it. Now S4 is threatened. It was a hallelujah play from 
EG, but right now the gods are on the side of OG. Seth will get himself a double kill. The two big gods have for so long. Aegis Immortal will give Anna back his life. They're claiming the range racks. Megas are up 26 minutes in. EG, a mauler on the ropes. The time rope, no net. And I'm fairly certain the rope's on fire. This happened really fast. I just want to point out how fast this happened. The game was really, really even the first 15 minutes. And then we have this one moment where OG get multiple kills, Arteezy shows up and dies. Uh -huh. And since then, it's been OG all the way to get the Roche. They go push with their invincible jugger with healing. Oh, Samael. Up in the air, calls now he can leap away. This is the last chance for EG. All five players up. There is no Raxus, no tier four towers to really speak of. Just the one. Sally's ready to dodge. They're into the trees. Arteezy blinks away. And maybe Thompson. He'll be set up towards the end. The curse crown is there. He'll be able to get the nice chase done. Chris Low on life. Arteezy getting some cleave damage. They're sent away by the terror rise. Arteezy, the mana void is good. But is it good enough? The sustain from OG. It continues to run. Arteezy protected by the PKB. He has to jump back in again. Chris S4 